Hey guys, what is going on? I know it's been a little bit since my last video. I've actually been here at an, uh, an undisclosed top secret location making some content with the Primogen. But I did want to come up today and talk about a recent vulnerability that's pretty huge in Next.js. If you don't know what Next.js is, Next.js is a web framework that allows you to do not only front end, but server side rendering for web interfaces for your websites, right? Now, there is an authorization bypass that was found in Next.js middleware. To understand this, we have to kind of go into how middleware works. Basically, in frameworks like this, you can install functions that are used to inspect the request to decide whether or not a certain method or a certain function should be ran, right? And so inside these middleware functions, it'll check like, is a header a certain value? Is the request authorized? Do, do certain conditions meet to allow the request to keep going down the response path? And if not, send back an unauthorized request, we can't process that request. Now, I had to figure out first, like, why does this header that's being referenced in the CVE exist, right? Basically, the vulnerability is if you try to get a protected route and you set X middleware sub request to true, for some reason that bypasses middleware checks if authorization happens in middleware. Basically, if the middleware function checks to see if your request is valid, just setting this header will bypass that request. Okay, so again, I'm not a front end dev. I don't use Next.js that often. So I had to ask ChatGPT, like, hey man, can you do me a favor and let me know, like, what, what is the purpose of this header? Like, why does it exist in the code base? The most interesting one to me is basically if a middleware function has to make an API call potentially to itself, to another API in the server, that could be infinitely recursive, right? Because the middleware calls a function which then runs middleware and so on and so forth. And so what could happen is you just keep running these functions until the CPU completely exhausts. The way they get past this is if a middleware function makes an API call, it will add X middleware sub request to that request so that Next.js knows that this API call came from middleware. And often the middleware functions will go through and they will actually cancel the request. So they say, hey, if I see that there is a header in this request that contains this value, I know it came from an, an, an other uh, middleware request, so I'm not gonna process a request. And so what that means is that the rest of the authorization chain in middleware does not get processed, which is actually completely crazy. And so I went and I wanted to see in the git commit how this got resolved. And so by the way, if, it, if you ever use Next.js, if you are currently affected by this, you can fix this in one of two ways. You can either update to these changes here, uh, 15.2.3 or 14.4.2.5. They're the versions that fix this vulnerability. Another way you can fix this is you can actually just add to your middleware. If the middleware request has this header, you just drop the request where you say, hey, this could potentially be malicious. I don't want to deal with it if you're unable to update to those versions. So my question was, how does the new commit fix this? The, the reason why this works in the first place is that anyone and everyone can just send a request with this header and trick Next.js into thinking that what would normally be an internal request actually came from, from you know, the outside, right? And so they added this feature where basically a session has this thing called a sub request ID that is like a secret, right? Like you don't know the value of that sub request ID. And if your request doesn't contain that sub request ID, it'll just drop the request. And so basically there's secret knowledge inside the server that you don't have. And if you can't make the two match, right? If you can't send a middleware request sub ID that has that value, then you know, it's just gonna drop the request. So pretty cool way that they solve this. I mean, again, it, it is interesting that they, for a very long time, allowed just this request to bypass middleware, which as a result, like allows anybody to bypass the middleware. Um, pretty neat bug, kind of crazy that it, it popped out of nowhere as like a 9.1 in servers that I've been using, that, that people have been using for so long. Um, but yeah, kind of wanted to make a video about this and talk about it. Not a super complicated bug, but it's kind of the scary part. Like all you have to do is do a curl request with like capital H and put this in it. And anyone that does authorization in a middleware layer will just, it'll just get bypassed. So pretty cool stuff. Anyway, guys, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments down below. And then also let me know what kind of videos you want to see. Do you want to see more hacking tutorials? Do you want to see more new style videos? Do you want to see me just do random shit? Let me know what you want and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.